it's time for another grocery haul and I'm gonna take you with me again because last time we did one of these where we went round the supermarket in Aldi it was so much fun yeah it was it was all right but you guys seem to really really like it so today we're not at Aldi even though you loved it we're at Lidl which in my head is kind of similar but um yeah we'll take you with us so come along get in that trolley and enjoy the ride you okay there oh yeah always bring a pound coin with me <laughs> without fail see this is how hot it is you can see those tan lines very sad about this dying sunflowers r.i.p i'll take two. <laughs> oh, i found my trolley yeah that's what we're okay. yep oh yeah you do oh Right, so this is the shopping list. And then this is what Mark has planned for us to eat this week. I don't actually know, so this is the first time I'm looking at it as well. Ooh. Oh, it's good, it's good. Shepherd's pie, it's a bit hot. Okay, so I've got some new potatoes here. In our nice little trolley. I mean, it's a full-size trolley, but it's kind of not, it's kind of small. Organic carrots? Yep. Or not organic carrots? Um, I don't really mind. Well, let's get some organic carrots. Okay, so we're going to get organic carrots, because Mark mom, wants to. Your mum would be proud. Yeah. Oh, they do have some veg that's not packaged, which is very good. So, got some very small courgettes. Are these courgettes? Wow. <laughs> Aha. Look, they've got, um, they've got baby courgettes. Oh, that's cool. But we want a big one, don't we? Yeah, fairly big. One. This one? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so a courgette. What's the courgette for? I'm going to make courgette fries. Oh, nice. I don't know if you've ever had that before. No. I don't know where I got the idea. I think they do them in Byron Burger, but I think they've got gluten in them. So. On oh, this one. Courgette fries. This is a special for you. Okay, this is Mark's favourite type of apple for some reason. Never had one, personally. Jazz apples. Oh, they're good. Okay. I have been picking my own raspberries, but I've run out. So I need to buy some raspberries. I think that will do me. Um, so now we need some bananas. They're all very green. I don't need them immediately. Okay, so should we get this big bunch? You will use them as well, won't you? Yeah, so we'll get some green that's bananas, so cool. but we want them to be yellow. Oh, <laughs> I might get some lemons, if that's okay. Yep. Because um, I used all my lemons yesterday to make lemon curd, so... Do you know I've never eaten a nectarine? I've never had a nectarine either. There we go. And that's not going to change today. Nope. Donut peaches. I mean, that's probably the only sort of donut that I can eat. Although I actually can't eat peaches, so donuts, peaches, no. Um, you got the new potatoes ready? Yeah. Could buy lime. I mean, you always need a lime in your life, don't you? Maybe a couple. A couple of limes for fun. And then Mark said he wants some parsnips, but personally, I think it's the wrong sort of year for, uh, time of year for parsnips. Okay, so we may have to abort the parsnip. Abort parsnip mission. Okay, new potatoes done. Parsnips not done, but let's just take it. Oh. Carrots, courgette, apples, bananas. Uh, raspberries. Uh, well, that's it, raspberries. right? Raspberries. So far, so I think good. So yeah, we're doing all right. It's all a bit, all a bit gluteny. Um, but I believe in Lidl they do the Warburtons gluten-free. They do the white loaf and they do this loaf in the, like the size that you kind of need because no one has, you know, we don't. Have a whole family eating gluten-free bread so having a small loaf is quite good how's the price is um one pound 59 i never buy this personally like this size so i don't know yeah um but one pound 59 if you are looking for gluten-free bread and get it in little they have stuff here like they have gosh stuff this is all gluten-free so falafel gluten-free um, and they're all vegan as well they have pakoras and more falafel and they're one pound at 89 a pack. I mean, by the looks of it, stuff like this is gluten-free. Not good for me with the onion and garlic, but I think that's all right. It's got the milk and the egg, but no gluten and no may contain. So this sort of thing looks really yummy. All of their sausages seem to be gluten-free. Well, not all of them, but these ones do, the deluxe ones. So Mark has just passed me some salmon. And it's lightly smoked. Lightly smoked? I've never seen that. Oh, one. but it's chunky, but smoked. So that sounds good. Put that in there. Also, for instance, in these chicken chipolatas, they look to be gluten-free as well, which is good. You got it. Yeah, that's pretty good. What price is that? Uh, 189. 189 is the lucky number in this place. £1.55 for some chicken breast fillets, and they are British 
indoor oh that's a shame can you see if you can get yeah, some better what about this british free range there we'll get that one i know it's more expensive yeah, this is like more than double but i'm quite happy to do that yeah so we're gonna get some british free range chicken i don't like the idea that it this one says free range and the other one doesn't so it kind of says it already i'll have to have a look in tesco what yeah like, they've got um lean turkey breast mix breast but i don't see well it says lean turkey mix if it's lean, that's fine. It's okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Like, it doesn't look really pale. So... No, that's fine. 7% is fine. Okay, cool. Okay. So, cheese. Cheese is great. <laughs> it's in. So, they've got Alpro yogurt here. So, for you guys that are dairy-free or oh, vegan, good. they've got that for... I don't even know what price. Oh, here you go. 129 I used to love yogurts that were like this when I was a kid. Like, they're like stripy. I think they're two flavours. <gasps> Strawberry and banana. I kind of fancy some of these. Oh, they like petty filling, kind of. Yeah, kind of, but you can't have them, so. What about frubes? I never had a frube as a kid. I think I was deprived, um, but Mark needs some orange juice. Oh, I need some butter, actually, for my baking. So, oh, yeah, that's some unsalted butter. Because butter, I don't know if we said last time, is low in lactose, and you're lactose intolerant, so. I found I can have butter, I haven't had it for years. Yeah, so use that. And also, I've just noticed that they have some Vitalite, which is good, dairy-free spread, for one nineteen. Um, so that's nice. I might actually get another one of those. Um, and let's see if this, this is perfect for cakes. Let's hope it doesn't have anything in, oh no, it has buttermilk in it. Oh well, I might just buy it for myself when I bake a cake for my parents. Do we use washing up liquid soon? Yes. Should we get this, this one? One ninety nine, and it's huge. Can you tolerate that, like being out? Not really, but I think it'll be fine. How much is it? One ninety nine. Okay, I'll take that. I think that's good. Oh, this looks nice here. Then we've got all this stuff in the middle, which I just don't understand. It's so messy. Mark seems to have gone down the nappies aisle. Baby food. But no, he has gone to get toilet rolls. <laughs> Thought you were going on like the baby food diet that I've heard about. Didn't Jennifer Aniston or something go on that once? Is that a thing? Yeah. I mean, I did go on that diet when I was less than one years old. Yeah, me too. An inflatable shell, or better still, an inflatable llama. Wow. An inflatable drinks holder. Now, when I have a bar, <laughs> that is something I need. But you can even buy a globe. Okay, so. I think we'll go straight across here because I've seen something that I want to show you. We have a gluten-free section in Lidl. That's crazy. So this gluten-free section, it's from top to bottom. So we've got chocolate digestives for one twenty-nine. We've got this is oh no, that's I'm getting oh, muddled. It's up, there. it's up there. So for one nineteen actually, and digestives for ninety-nine p. I mean that's ridiculous. The chocolate brownie mix for one twenty-nine, um, and then you've got some luxury cookies. So you've got the white chocolate and cranberry and the triple chocolate, all for one forty nine. Um, ignore that, that's not right. But you've got the ginger cookies, chocolate chip cookies, and they are one nineteen. Oh, I like these. And then you've got the dark chocolate things for one twenty nine, and the nut bars. You've got Mrs. Crimble's, we've got some of those at home actually. Rice cakes, rice cakes. Someone has put stuff that shouldn't be here. Disgrace. Take that away. Um, that could confuse someone, so it's bad. We've got spaghetti. This spaghetti I've heard great things about. So, and it's 99p. 99p. So gluten-free spaghetti for 99p. That is going in. <laughs> um, and then we've got loads of oat cakes and tortilla chips, which I wonder if we can eat these. Not sure. I think they're in little packs. So that'd be good for like snacks on the go. And then the cereal for 2.17. I don't think that's that cheap. I thought you could get it for 1.99, but I might be wrong. Um, they do have lots and lots of crisps here, which I believe are very much gluten-free. Like, I believe Monster Claws, which are like Monster Munch. Let's have a look. So I'm not lying to you. They are all gluten-free, which is great. Okay, the, this is very exciting. This looks to be <laughs> hula, hula hoops. Gluten-free hula hoops. Oh, great. Just tell me, check for me, but they look gluten-free to me. Yep. 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 Mark has now got the discovery of the century. We love these. They are good. These are uh, gluten-free Pringles, original, and they also have salt and vinegar, which is awesome because we need a bit of flavour in our lives. I just checked, and the sour cream have gluten in them. Okay, sour cream have gluten in them, so only those two flavours. 
Um, we have some cheese puffs here. Let's see if we can eat them. Always good to check everything and check every time you come. So those just milk, so Mark can't have them, but they are gluten free. Ooh, let's have a look and see if these though. These might be okay. Always good to check. So these look to be gluten free. These are the Dorito Chili Heat Wave, oh, yeah. like replica thing. These are gluten free. That's so good. I know. So uh, there's some good stuff in here. Some really good crisps and snacks, which is what you kind of want in the summer. So this is what Mark means when he says he wants some pop. He has bought some Tropical Crush and some free Freeway. Oh, they're both Freeway. Orange Aid Zero. Yes. So that's what Mark wants in this hot weather. Which I'll accept. The price for coolest lactose free milk goes to Lidl. That looks so cool. Look at that. Oh. I thought it looked good. really cool. It does. <laughs> Made in our Devonshire dairy. My cereal, my bread. Okay, keep that separate. That will do. This <laughs> ground almonds 139 for 150. We'll get two lots of ground almonds. Yep. We do need some more maple syrup. We could get that. Yep. Oh, caster sugar. Get me some of that caster sugar. Which one? This one? Yeah. Wonderful. So I've got that, that and that. So some little baking essentials here. Put that in. Could you do me the honours of opening? Like, oh, like checking them, yeah. Checking them all. Yeah. Yeah. Look all good. I'll look on the bottom. Yeah, look but on the My bottom. tip is to look at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I'm always needing eggs. We eat eggs a lot and we, uh, we bake with eggs a lot. There we go. So we've got salmon, new potatoes. Okay, we need my milk. Boom. That's got, it. Oh, wicked. So we've we got just, some little extras. Yeah, we've got extras, but we didn't get your milk, that's it. So they don't seem to do my milk here. Yeah, I know. Which is a shame. Did you check, you checked for sure, didn't you, in the fresh Yeah, section? in the fresh, yeah, they had mine, that's it. Oh, so that's a bit of a shame. Okay, we have just come across something. We have come across cashew and blueberry. These look nice, actually. Gluten-free. And the Brazil and Sultana with peanuts and almonds. So these are 179 a pack, and you get three in each. These look really good, like those ones that I used to eat. They do do roasted red peppers here, so let's see. They do good roasted red peppers. That's good. We could get some for the cupboard. Yeah. So we use these to make um, my red pesto. So that could be a good thing because they were only 170. We've got a big old trolley here, which I'm a bit nervous about because when you come to Aldi and Lidl, they seem to rush you through so quickly that I just get stressed. Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go pay. So that in total was? Uh, it was 49 pounds. That's not bad, is it? And that's not all this. You've got a bag next to you as well. Couldn't fit it in the bloody trolley. Oh, and that's good for a week shot. Yeah, I think so. So, if you want to see us cook with this food, then click the video here. And if you want to see another grocery haul, then click here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.